After passing the highly controversial immigration bill this year, state leaders want to make sure it's working as intended. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carl Torb. And I'm Amanda Taylor. News Tonight's Capitol reporter Haley Wager sits down with the Secretary of Public Safety for this exclusive interview. We want the American dream to flourish. Building up the Oklahoma workforce. We have so many barriers to really recruiting and retaining global talent. Now state leaders are working to break those barriers. Whatever limitations there are, I appreciate that we come together to find real solutions. Trisha Everest is the Secretary of Public Safety. She chaired a task force looking at state work permits and visas. Congress has been silent on this. The 11 person group developed what they're calling the Oklahoma first model, giving five recommendations to recruit and retain migrant workers. And what's missing in general in America and in Oklahoma is the ability for people to be able to work here <laughs> and be able to thrive without being fear of being removed or losing their families or not having their families join. Coming up with ideas like issuing state visas or driving privileged cards, which would essentially act as temporary licenses. We can verify their nationality, their identity, and their residency. Working to train and retain. The task force is also issuing recommendations on streamlining credentials. If I'm a medical doctor in another country, I might come here and not be able to get a job that would even have a college degree because we wouldn't recognize that licensing. And envisioning a central hub to house all of these ideas. The task force recommends creating an office of new Oklahomans and allow for pathways for success. This is just the first step in this process. Now these recommendations will be handed over to the legislature and stakeholders. It will be up to them to create new policy or programs at the Capitol for Oklahoma Zone. I'm Haley Wigger. Governor Stitt signed the law in April. It makes it a crime to be in our state without lawful status. First offense could mean a year in county jail and a $500 fine. The offender must then also leave Oklahoma and never return. Currently, though, there is a federal injunction preventing the law from being enforced.